Colin Mullen began racing at age six and has progressed through the ranks as he has gotten older. And now at 20 years old, Colin is one of America's most driven racing drivers, and he joins me live in studio now. Colin, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Now, when it comes to race car driving, it's not something that a lot of people are familiar with. So what made you want to first get into race car driving at such a young age? Well, I just um, so happy to see a NASCAR race on TV when I was, God, maybe three years old or so. Um, and lucky enough, my, uh, my parents heard about a place where I could start driving cars at the age of five years old. So just down in Livermore, California. Oh, look, there's racing you right there. Midgets. Yeah, there it is on track out in <laughs> Livermore. Um, so I've been doing it ever since I was five years old. So really three quarters of my life have been at the racetrack or around the racetrack. So it's pretty, uh, pretty incredible for me to, I need, to still be driving now. Yeah, and I need to ask your dad, how do you teach a five-year-old how to drive? I mean, you, <laughs> you probably like had just learned to walk a couple of years ago. <laughs> so what well, goes into it? There's so much. So uh, what people don't realize about racing is everything that goes on um, you know, at the race weekend and also off the racetrack itself. So when you're talking with your engineer about car setup, when you're on track working with tire strategy, fuel strategy, there's so much that goes around the actual race weekend itself other than just driving the car on track when we're out there in our race time itself. Mm -hmm. But it's, uh, there's so much to it, which is uh, why I love the sport. And it's not like traditional sports where you can kind of climb in the ranks or, or starting from a young age and just progress. It's much different in that aspect. So how did you climb to where you're at now at 20 years old? Absolutely. So racing is one of those sports where, it, like you said, so different from, you know, baseball, basketball, every, everything else, because, you know, for one, it requires a lot of funding to make things happen. So, you know, we've been fortunate in a position to, uh, um, even start our own marketing company as a family of mine. Um, so we've worked really together to help put some sponsors and partners together to get myself up the ranks. But I started for, out of uh, quarter midgets, got into go-karts, so I started doing some road racing. Uh, from there, I got into spec Miatos when I was 14 years old, so I was actually racing on track in cars before I actually had my driving license for the street. <laughs> Crazy. Um, and since then, it's just been about networking, getting connected with the right teams, and being able to work my way up through the ranks from there. But I've um, been fortunate to race some pretty incredible cars over the years, everything from McLarens, Mercedes, to Honda Civics, and Mini Coopers, so. Wow, and we just saw a few of those. And you, so you've driven all different types of cars. For you, how do you find yourself adjusting to the different vehicle that you're, that you're trying to race? Absolutely, so at the end of the day, a race car is a race car. So for me, and, and kind of what separates, you know, the really good drivers from even just good drivers out on track is adaptation. So um, at the end of the day, it's just about finding out how to make each car go the fastest that it can go. So um, certain cars have different driving styles and good drivers need to be willing to adapt to all that out there on track. Wow, and you're really taking off in this industry. You were recently on a magazine cover. Tell us what that was like, what that experience has been for you. Yeah, that was um, a bit of a surprise for me, being contacted by Diablo Magazine. Uh, growing up in the East Bay, uh, the car culture around Danville, the Bay Area, is just so huge, and that really played a huge role in my interest in motorsports and passion there. So it was great to be included for Diablo Magazine as their uh, car culture piece in the, in the Bay Area. Um, definitely was uh, interesting for me doing like a professional photo shoot type of style to something probably I've different really right before. absolutely <laughs> so uh, but it, it was great amazing to be a part of that and again being growing up in the community in the Bay Area being a part of something where they're doing a feature on the uh, the car culture around something that was so pivotal to me growing up was pretty incredible to be a part of and you've also won some awards through your racing um, you know you've just been noticed throughout the Bay Area for the things that you're doing when it comes to race car driving for you what does that mean to be recognized by the Bay Area oh it's it's phenomenal I, we've we've been able to do so many great things in, uh, in the motorsport world um, winning the 2018 Team USA scholarship for me going over to England and uh, representing such a, uh, a scholarship that has such a huge mark in the racing community in the US was pretty amazing for me driving for um, Andretti Autosport and winning a championship for them in 2020 in uh, GT4 America was again just phenomenal another one of those moments where didn't think growing up that anything like that would be possible. So it's, it's amazing to, uh, to just have those feats. And again, Bay Area being recognized by this community I've grown up in is, is fantastic. So I'm just super, super fortunate. And you're only 20 years old, but it seems like you already have so much figured out when it comes to your future. What can people expect from you in race car driving and everything you've got going on? Well, I'll certainly hope to keep moving up through the ranks. I mean, it's a, it's a difficult industry for sure, and I'm super lucky to, uh, to have gotten as far as I can. So 
Um, we're always looking for partners, and like I said, with our uh, with our marketing company that we started as a family around motorsports, we're always working to try to get back at the racetrack. So. Um, that's 90% of the, the racing world is the business side off track, and that's what we're working on right now. But hope to keep moving up through the ranks soon. Um, you know, keep keep getting back out on track and bigger and faster things. That's always the uh, the goal. And you're also a student at Ohio State University, so you are a college student, also mm -hmm. balancing this race car driving life. What are some of the ups and downs or challenges of that? Uh, it certainly makes things busy. That's for sure, uh, especially being out in Ohio. Um, traveling across the country for different race events, uh, coaching gigs and, and whatnot. It's, um, it's definitely busy uh, from a travel aspect, keeping up with school, but I love it. And I'm studying mechanical engineering, so it goes hand in hand with driving. Um, there's a lot of crossover there and great, more, great information for me to have out on track. Uh, it just really goes hand in hand with my interests. So it's certainly busy, but I wouldn't be doing it unless I love doing it. So. And Colin, one tip that you might have for those out there who maybe want to get into race car driving but just don't know where to start. Absolutely. So always look for your local track. Um, for kids growing up, places like uh, quarter midget race tracks, go-karts, there's tons around if you just look for the right places. But um, those are always the, great, the best place to get started in. Um, as far as if, you're, if you have a car you want to get on, on the racetrack, there's tons of opportunities for track days locally, especially in the Bay Area. We're so fortunate to be surrounded by tracks like Sonoma Raceway, Laguna Seca, Thunder Hill a couple hours north. There's plenty of opportunities to get out on track. So I just say jump in. There's always racing schools around for you to do it, but um, it's, it's a blast, and you will love every second of it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Colin, for joining us here on Live in the Bay. We appreciate it. Thank you very much.